Welcome back to Mango Plays Modded Minecraft and in particular all the mods 6 and of course today we are going to try and follow along the wiki and all sorts of wonderful internet guys to make sure I can get a tier 6 tier 6 altar and maybe we can play with some rituals. This sounds like great fun but before we do that let's join Grok. This is a disappointment Mango. <gasps> no. We, we, we talked about planting the Ars Magica plants and then using elemental craft to harvest them. Mm -hmm. So I went ahead and made this little beastie. This is the harvest shrine at the bottom in the center. And it needs the earth elemental to run. So we've got a pipe and then here's a container for earth. There on top of it, the five prong thingy is an, an extractor. And this little pulsing green thing at the top is an earth source. Mm -hmm. So that's providing it all the earth it needs uh, to, to run. And then we got the, the ender hopper and, and whatnot. The problem though is as soon as these things grow and then get harvested, it breaks the original plant. It doesn't right click and leave that plant. It just breaks them, which is kind of, it, that's not what you're supposed to do. It really isn't. So I'm sitting there going, I don't want to have a planter are you giving me potatoes? I'm tossing these over here so the thing will grab them. There it goes. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking this may need to go down and we'll put mm -hmm. a signolia so we don't fly by and all of a sudden, why do I have potatoes? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, I wonder, cabbage. Yes, we've got some of the, uh, what is this? It's Pam's Harvest Crap. So I wonder if these are more right-click friendly. There we go. No. Nope. <laughs> Same problem. The only planter I can think of is from the the industrial foregoing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's the only one I can think of. And, you know, we, we could certainly do that. Uh, I'd probably go with the cabbage or some other Pam's crop. Yeah. Just because there's no, you know, poisoned potato thing that you have to deal with. It's just the same crop. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit unsure if... This is suffering from the same thing that rats are suffering from. Because, yeah, because if you remember the rats, they, they mm -hmm. do the same thing, but it specifically states on the upgrade that they won't break it. You, you did confess after, you know, I'd been playing with this a little bit that you'd come by and just stolen some potatoes. I said, that's just fine. That's what they're for. <laughs> <laughs> Back here, I'm going to plant the rest of the, the thing here. Might as well. Before we head off into separate directions to do weird and wonderful things, um, I was talking to you and we thought about doing new armor. Remember? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, we've been having this this lovely gold armor. Oops. I don't want to flip that trap door. And I flipped another one as I zipped up. <laughs> So, yes, uh, vibranium. Vibranium. Ooh, yeah. We got lots and lots of vibranium. And so we can update our armor. Now, the, the, the question was, why have, you know, that, that netherite go into all the modium? Yeah. And you were saying maybe it's because it, it allowed the armor to keep the spells? Yeah. So we... Yes. Let's test it then. Oh, I'm glad I'm recording because at least I'll keep an idea of what um, if I lose my um, enchants. Oh no! Oh, look, yeah, that is how it, it does works. Keep it. Uh huh. Oh, that's lovely. And I, I, I haven't even looked up the recipe. There we go. I, I didn't even look up the recipes, but it uh, it worked. I I guessed the patterns. All right. So what does this look like? I'm sure it looks fun. Oh, shiny. I'm sparkly. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. you are. <laughs> so it's kind of a, I'd say this is more blue than green, but it definitely has some green tints to it. I'm trying to show it. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I like. Yeah. Yeah. So it, that's a nice, pretty armor. And, uh, you're, you're, you you take no damage with this. It's amazing. Yeah. Wow, look. 400 um, chest plate protection plus 62 uh -huh. overprotection. And then 
What's the uh, six thousand two hundred percent speaker? I think that is knockback. <laughs> Knockback. So ah. knock, knockback resistance is way over the top. <laughs> so we cannot be knocked back. And, and you know, that's what I've been doing here. I've been hitting you with my sword and you're just not being knocked back at all. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared to, to whack you with a sword. Um, As you should be. Yeah, last it's, time. It's not, a, it's not an R's spell, so it's okay. Ooh, you got nice particle effects when I hit you. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm noticing too. Okay. This is over the top armor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we could stand next to the the wither and go. Oh, are, you, are you awake yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sit there and punch him with our fists and kill him that way. Oh, that would be awesome. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we could have the wither come along and then use that for blood magic, and because he constantly regenerates, and we could have so much health that way. Uh, Do blood you know that way. what I've realized? Mm -hmm. I have not used the pinkinator. Have you used the pinkinator yet? I did. So you got a pet with her? Uh, no. They they cannot be trained. They just wander wherever they go. They are kind of annoying that way. All right. And we would need to set them up in the overworld. Uh-huh. Someplace where they hopefully aren't going to break blocks before they get pinkinated. Ah. Um. And, and yeah. So, so if you want to, you can certainly do that, but there's no way to really keep them someplace unless you put them in a locked room or, you know, some, some enclosed space, they will stay in that enclosed space. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I have some thoughts then. <laughs> well, we can do that. That's oh. easily done. We've got better armor and weapons. Eh. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. um, you're going off to do some more light work. What's it called? Yes, astral sorcery. That's the one. And I'm going to go mm -hmm. um, spill blood and, and have yes. fun. So see you in a bit. <laughs> okay, dokie. <okay. laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, first on the agenda is, of course, to upgrade our altar to tier four. And according to um, the guide, this is the correct formation. So it's one out and then sort of like you pull everything out. But you don't take the runes all the way up to the edge of this pillar here. You have a block just to buffer on each corner here. And on the top of these four pillars that I've set up around the edges, we do need a bloodstone brick. To make those, the recipe is quite easy. You need a weak blood shard and any stone, basically. And to make the weak blood shard is this which is different to what I remember. I remember a ritual and a binding sword and stuff like that. So this is all a bit new to me. Got a feeling I probably need to put some blood in my orb. So whilst I uh, am crafting up things, let's pop our blood orb in here. You can see that the blood is disappearing. Lovely article effect, actually. And it's basically just increasing our... Oops, how do I, no, oh, I know how, aha, <laughs> forgot, we just do this, we have 8,600, now we have 10,000, you can see our personal life points, oh, say that five times fast, life points, oh, 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 is increasing, which is fantastic, so, um, I'm gonna pop the, this new thing over here, this arc, no, alchemical reaction chamber. Let's grab this. Uh-oh, our orb's in there. No! I do have a, um, a smaller orb which we could use, but hey, let's just um, do this. And let's pop the magician's orb in here. Our chemical reaction chamber. Thank you very much. And, um, yeah. Boom. <sighs> This looks quite creepy. So this must be these items here, primitive fuel cell, etc. And in particular, we want the Zang Aguain Sanguine. Zang Aguain a Reverter, which has 32 uses. I wonder if I can put a um, Hello Rain enchantment on it. And so, well, we still got some will in here and we still have this will, which we need to use up. Of course, we do have the pet our Tarek gem to use in the future. Let's see if we can get this uh, doodad made. 
Maybe it won't even start. There's not enough will. <gasps> okay. Did I read this wrong? Let's see. Um, Hellfire Forge. Ooh. Needs a common or greater gem. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's try with the... Give me the... Yeah, there we go. Let's try it with that. So, one of the... One of these. One of these. One of these. And one of these. Will you work? No. Will you work? Uh oh. Okay. So, it looks like I need to make... I have to have this gem in this slot. Oh, this is painful. Okay, I believe it's glass, redstone, uh, lapis, and gold. Glass uh, will. There we go. wonder what you're supposed to do with this. I think I'm going to just trash it. So we know we have a another gem. Okay. And I do really want to test whether or not this will um, give be upgraded and hold its will quantity so give me a minute i am going to the public mob farm right okay i have a um petty tartaric gem with 15 will in it and let's put the other one over here and then what else did i need <laughs> oh dear. a diamond a lapis and a redstone block there we go should hopefully do it Hmm. Uh, minimum is 60 and drained is 20. Oh, I'm so close. Okay, back in a sec. Now I have a, a total of 63. Give me. And a fantastic. I have a lesser one. So does this mean that I need a lesser or common? We can do it with a petty then. Minimum 60, drained 20. So, and it got rid of the will. That is good to know. Right, okay, I'm off to get more will in here. So we're all set up to do the next one. Let's see. Let me behave. Uh, common. Peter, lesser, common. No, I checked and you went, you did a petty one. Oh, whoops, okay. Hey. How much? Minimum two of forty will. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to give me a moment. <laughs> it looks like I need to make another lesser gem and build that one up. Okay, we have a lesser tartaric gem filled with will quality. Two hundred and fifty two. Yay. Okay, so let's take this one out. Put that one in there and then I need some bits for this common. A diamond and beauty state and a block. Go. And away we go. So this should make the common. Tartaric gem. And how much will do I need in this for this? 350. So guess what? Right. Okay. We have block of gold. The lesser tartaric. Viewed. And 390 will. Woohoo! We're gonna get another common. Why did I do that? I have no idea. I was gonna do this next. <gasps> ah, I got all confused. Oh, I need 10 more will. I have the 10 more will. So, no. In here, we need the stone, the iron, the shears, the imbued slate, and of course, 350 will in here, of which it will use 30, I think. Yeah, there we go. And now we have sanguine a reverter. Fabulous. Okay. So, I think I pop that there. And that in there. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, I, I feel pain. No. Wow. Okay. 
Oh, that just destroyed that. Okay, so I think I need to put the blood all over there. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm supposed to be using the imbued slates. Right, let's go see whether or not making this unbreakable will still allow it to work in there. Because if it does, this is awesome. And every single one of these weird little doodads will need to be made unbreakable for sure. One of you, one of you, um, thank you very much. So, you in there, and let's put a few imbued slates in. Aha, it's working. Give me blood shots. <gasps> there we go. And it's still taking damage. So, you just need to make sure you don't put more than 32 in. Take it out, and or more than 31 even. And then, hopefully it will repair. We'll do a test. Are you repairing on me? Yes, you are. Fab. Alright, um, let's shove you in there for the moment. We have four weak blood shards. We needed... No, we have five, and we needed four. This is perfect. No, we needed one. So, if we have a quick look at our um, altar, it is tier three. Remember in the top left what it tells us? Of course, if I um, right-click here, tier three. And um, we are looking to get to tier four. Um, 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 and boom. I, um, they're not as pretty a red colour as I remember. But that's cool. Let's see. Do we have, we have a tier four. Fabulous. Okay. So, with a tier four altar, it means we can make the next slate, I do believe. Let's have a look in J-E-I at the slates. So reinforced, imbued was tier three. Demonic is tier four. Ab. Oh, and we need to use imbued with 150, no, 15,000 life points. So if this was full, I could do two. That was a lot. Okay, let's do the first one together. I'm gonna want one demonic slate and of course what is the orb so a magician orb was what we used before this is the one we want perfect Forty thousand. with one of these i like it um do i want the orb first probably i got my sacrifice knife i've got my comfy let's throw this in and remove as much blood as i dare before i eat and what just happened? Oh, that was um pretty magic. Ah, somebody was joining. That was what was going on. Well, hello, Grok. And here we go, a blood um master blood or even. Um we own it. It's ours. Ha <laughs> ha Okay, let's um, throw a piece of stone in and let's see what this demonic slate looks like. Okay, and here we go. Here is our first demonic slate. Fabulous, I can set up the automation and um, yeah, I'm going to make 31 more. We have the 32 demonic slates, which means that, well, I guess it can be said that I can do some upgrading. So I've pulled up the speed runes and the capacity runes and they are the first things to get upgraded for sure so um excuse me i can't do you on that for some reason so rune of augmented capacity if we take out our book and have a hold it in our hand i can now press control and bring up the uh page that's the right word the rune of augmented capacity increases the capacity of the blood altar by a multiplicative multiplicative <laughs> <laughs> Plus 7.5% per rune. The augmented capacity runes apply after the regular capacity runes. So we have rune of capacity in the middle, obsidian, buckets, and of course the master and demonic slates. All good stuff. Uh, so let's get 10 of these. Whoop. Okay. Let's make <laughs> some buckets. <laughs> okay. And now let's get 10 of them. So let's uh, drop all of these goodies in boom 10 ab thank you very much and of course we had 30,000 um with the normal capacity 
and we will have a look in a second once I've upgraded the speed runes and have what we now have. Let's have a look at the um, upgrade for the speed rune. Uh, yes, this is what I want to do. No, this is what I want to do. And let's see, acceleration rune is the upgrade for the speed rune. Speed rune even. Um, and apparently it's just a better version. The operations of the charging rune and displacement rune occur every 20 ticks. One tick of the delay is removed a rune down to a minimum of one operation per tick. So I guess we wanted to make it as fast as it possibly could. 19 acceleration runes is what you'd want. However, I'm going to stick with my eight. <laughs> Here we go. Let's grab that. Oh, we need more buckets. Oh dear. Bucket. We're going to need... Um, 15. Go. And... Boom. Thank you very much. Oh, we're going to need more than 15. Didn't realise it was a four. That's a big... Ah. There we go. Um, let me make the remaining four. And we have our eight acceleration runes now. Fab. Oh. Okay, I'm kind of excited to see the capacity. Should increase. Oh. Excuse me. 10,000? No, it should be more than 30,000. Um. Hmm. Oh. So do I need normal capacity runes as well all right seven capacity runes let's see how this goes any more room please okay that's pretty cool 38 eight, five, four. and obviously i'm gonna have to redo the runes but what i really wanted to get was some charging runes i believe so if we have a look here uh, charging rune, if we go back one, is unique rune uh, upgrade. What it will do, from what I can understand, is it will actually put the blood sitting here in an internal buffer. So, uh, let's get some charging runes. And that internal buffer can get used immediately as soon as you put something in, so it's nice and powerful. Charging rune. Yep, that's fine. There was also, I did want the displacement rune. Let's have a quick note of that. It's all about flow rate. I'm wondering if that would mean that it's faster even still. But for the moment, let's uh, just do seven of the charging runes. Thank you very much. I had enough goodies. Ooh. So um, let's see what happens once these get registered to the blood altar. There we go. It's slowly draining away into these runes as little tanks. Oh, fabulous. Okay, so we have an empty blood altar. But from what I understand, I should be... Oh. Oh. That was, that was magic. Look at the magic. <laughs> so I was able to make two inscription tool dusts. Which should mean I should be able to not make that one. This one, please. Yes. Right, okay. You go there. You go there. You go there. And what was the things at the top? Ah, yes, of course. The demonic slates. I have nearly used all of those demonic slates that I made. I'm so sad. So, let's have a quick news over here and see what rituals we can get into. Serenade of the Never is a way of getting infinite lava without having to load chance chunks in the Never. So that's pretty good. See what the next one is. Ritual of the Full Spring is an infinite source of water. Okay. Ritual of the Crusher is um, a way of mining and it works in tandem with the Ritual of mag Magnetism. Magnets. Okay, so I've had a quick nose into all of these different uh, rituals and 
there are a couple that I really want. Uh, one of them, whoops, was the one I just went past. Oh no! Oh, did it again! No! <laughs> oh dear. Rich Crusher. Ritual of the Feathered Knife. It should, apparently, help us automate the self sacrificing process, and I love this idea. We're going to need 40 ritual stones and one master stone. So, let's have a quick nose. What are the ritual stones? Oh my, uh, just normal ritual stones, please. Reinforced slates and obsidian. Not bad. And what about master? Um, master? Okay, so we're going to need 44 ritual stones. It's going to take me a minute. Okay, there's been a little bit of a change, but what I was doing was getting lots and lots of reinforced slates or ritual stone because we need 44 of these, I believe. Um, uh, there we go. Good, I balance the grid, please. Oh, I have enough. Lovely. Excuse me. What? That is a master. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I didn't... It makes four per craft. Ugh. Oh, well. Um, okay. Well, whoops. There we go. That's what I need. <laughs> I feel so... <sorry. laughs> Look how many extra reinforced slates I made. Whoops. But, um, they will come in useful. I am sure. Master Ritual Stone. I need one of those, please. Thank you. And I am also going to need... Let's actually uh, do search for blood magic. Because I will need a crystal. An activation stone. Which is one of these put through the ring. So let me grab a three buckets of lava. Hey, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. And if we have a look here at the activation crystal... It is tier 3 in uh, and 10,000 life points. We should have that, no problem. Boom, there we go, it did it straight away. Fab. So, I am going to hop under here and make a little bit of room. I have no idea how big this ritual is. I don't know, that might be enough. Hopefully. So, Master Ritual Stone, let's pop you down here. Thank you very much. How do I do this? Am I losing stone? I am not. Okay. Let me have a look into this. <laughs> right. The mast or this ritual is only too high. And it's too... This is the top stone and then there's two underneath it. So, um... I could even move it up to, which, uh, yeah, I could do, or I could just give it a bit of room. Okay, let's, ooh, let's see if I can get this, oh, there we go, it's showing us the stuff, oh, and now I can just right click on it to my heart's content, I think you're done. Right, okay, so we need tons of blood in, um, our, no, I'm not done. I definitely got the right amount, I'm sure of it. No, must be done. Right, so I need blood in my system. And I'm unsure how much I need. 25,000 to start. We have enough. And it costs 20 life points per operation. So, let's um, head on down. I've got my weak activation crystal. I'm very hopeful I don't need the higher tier one. I think I just right click. I say that was very anticlimactic. Uh, a rush of energy flows through the ritual. Woo! -hoo! And now we have ten thousand. So it's now working, running. It is all good. And please, please work. Are you not close enough? Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up here. I think that should be okay. Let's see. Okay. That seemed to build okay. Um, it can hold 125,000 blood. I think that's 
pretty okay. I'm all right with that. <laughs> right, okay, so the next off is the ethereal slate, which um, I'm assuming is a stone just left in here forever and ever and ever. Right, okay, so let's grab a stone and have a look at this magic happening. Okay, I'm down here. Let's grab some food as we want to fill the glorious this oh wow that was quick okay whoops um i have automation on we'll take this blank slate <laughs> uh, whoop. Oh, it. it's just whizzing through right now mainly because it had um, a lot of blood in the capacity uh runes i think actually i'm gonna want to increase those as well the particle effects seem to be gone from the demonic slate that's in there. So I have a feeling that we are unable to get any higher or get this particular one, the ethereal slate. But uh, well, that's cool. Um, what we're going to do is see whether or not we can get the items required for tier 6 altar. I should have enough will. We have 784. And I believe this is the recipe. So let's see. Ooh, the bar is working. And we now have a demon crucible. So last thing we want is the demon crystallizer, which is glass stone, hellfire, lapis. Ah, yes, I got enough. And ta-da, a demon crystallizer, which I think is the thing I'm gonna put down first. Now, I have no idea if this is working. It's so supposed to, apparently, grow crystals from the will aura of the chunk. Now, the demon crucible apparently is supposed to take will from gems and put it into the chunk. So, eh? Like this, maybe? I have no way of knowing if it's working. Let's see. Um, no. I guess only time will tell. Given enough time, look at this. Now, I have no idea if this will work, but it says that I can pick it with a pickaxe. So, boom. <gasps> I got seven? Demon will crystals let's see the uses the usages of these the raw crystal cluster is not the thing we need we need crystal cluster so can i do usages on this i cannot ah oh, dear maybe that will come shortly but this is how you grow the crystals you just pop one of these with will in into the chunk and just allow it to grow Aha! that is fantastic hopefully that means that i will be able to complete tier six in the future uh just not right now i did notice that i definitely didn't leave enough room i thought i had but hey ho um we'll get that situated nicely in the future oh take all the blood it's all good it's all yours thank you very much <laughs> but with that what we should do is go and see rock I think that's looking pretty impressive over there now. It's getting there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I, I do like the uh, the color theme for the beacons. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I am noticing that it's kind of ouchy right here. It's well, perfect ouchy. I don't know what you're moaning about. <laughs> You've got regen. It is, it's all good. <laughs> so, so is that my blood in the altar that's popping in? Is that what it is? It, it's both of us. It's team effort. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can go for team effort. <laughs> now, it looked like it went away. So uh, is, some, is yeah. it the ritual that's drown, uh, draining it from below? Uh, no, actually, it was me taking the glowstone and changing them out for sea lanterns to test uh, whether or not you could, and you can. Because uh, we okay. do have a, a tier 5 altar still. All right. Um, which means that I can do different types of decorations with a sea lantern, which I'm kind of keen about yeah. i haven't made my yeah. final decisions on the mm -hmm. decoration but uh, as you can see i 
with the purple lights. I was like, hey, I'm oh, purple. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so that's what, what's been going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I definitely can go, you know, with the theme. You know, mm -hmm. we've got the a very bright white stone, which is, is a, always fun to contrast. Or you can go very dark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or red. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or lots of anything. options. There. Yeah, yeah. Anything. So yeah, I've got capacity self sacrifice. Quite a few different runes, okay. yeah, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Um try to be quite nice with the patterns, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. Charging runes, they're kind of fun, Rock. So the charging runes basically charge a battery in the altar and it means that things that you put in are just like immediate. Like if you put in a piece of obsidian or something in there, it just goes straight into um the item it's gonna make. Which is oh. something to do with runes if I remember oh, correctly okay. but um okay. yeah let me ah here have a block of coal put one of those in. Ooh, block of coal <laughs> oh, I'll have <laughs> one of these <laughs> I'll put one see boom oh yeah so yeah, oh, yeah that that uh, instantly did its thing actually work that's one of those inscriber thingies for the uh, changing the the colors of the the ritual runes it yeah. is yes yes thank you Hey. I'll keep it for as long as I can remember. <laughs> oh, I can't remember it anymore. Oh no! Oh no! It's gone. It's gone. But, but also, there we this, go. this, yeah, this, this will store up blood into your LP network mm -hmm. by keeping it that in there. Yep, 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 yep. That makes sense. And currently, uh, I, yeah, I'm only the the amusing thing if you think about it is the only ritual I have is a self sacrificing one underneath me. Um, mm -hmm. Which costs, I think, 20 LP every time we get stabbed. So technically, yeah. if I run out of LP in my network, it will stab me and then take LP from my life to pay mm -hmm. for the stabbing. <laughs> yep, yep. That's kind of the way it works, isn't it? <laughs> yep. I'd come over earlier. I was looking. I was going, "Ooh, she's got it up to tier five. And I came up, and all of a sudden, ow, ow. Ow. I said, I'll, I'll run away. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me that you filmed the um, ball earlier, is what you're saying? Uh, it wasn't full, but uh, it was definitely consuming some of mine. Hey. Yeah. You, know, you know, happy to contribute. You know, Thank that's, you. that's the, the team effort sort of thing. Shall we nip over to your area, see what you got done? Sure, sure. Do you want to take the slow flight up? <laughs> I lost track of where you were, so. Oh, oh. no, you're, you're behind me that way. Oh, there yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. You're leading the way. Mm. Ooh. Okay. That's changed so, since I last looked at it. It's It's gotten a lot more busy since mm. the last time. So I don't think I showed off the attunement area over here. Uh, it's currently deactivated. Uh, you need to place down a whole bunch of uh, receptacles. That's a constellation observatory. And it looks really glitchy from outside. <laughs> oh no, how do I get off? <laughs> Let me off. Uh, there we go. Crouch, there you go. <laughs> and uh, so that's how you get to see the really, really faint constellations. Uh -huh. And I still need to find one more and then I've found all 16. Uh, and then this is the upgraded telescope instead of the handheld one. And uh, that also just circles around and works very nicely. I and... And then, sorry, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, interrupted. I was, I was saying, uh, then I have a crystal light crystal over here that's giving its light to the central altar. So I really don't need to worry about starlight for a lot of the, the minor uh, recipes. I can just craft it even in the middle of the day. Oh, wow. And I've got a separate crystal over here, which I'm not actually using, which I could put more light over, but it doesn't look like it actually works. Uh, if you step in the the liquid starlight, now you've got uh, night vision. Ooh, that's yes. cool. Yep. Now, over here, I've got a ritual going that should be converting stone into precious ores. That's the little brown flares that are popping around. Uh -huh. That's part of that ritual. And it's centered over here. And I've got a whole bunch of stone. I've got a whole bunch of cobblestone. It's been sitting here for like two, three days. Oh. I think this is broken <laughs> because it's not doing a thing. It should have transformed way more often than what it has, which is none. That's uh, a shame. The, 
everything is in place. I've even wait, waited for the actual Mineralis uh, constellation to be up, and it is, so it should be actually getting specific Mineralis constellation starlight in, and that should be working, and it doesn't. So, oh well, uh, that's poopy. Uh, this one here has been helping me gather more starlight, but I'm going to change that because I'm going to uh, set this. This is the first ritual I set up. Because mm -hmm. when that's over here, link it there. Grab. If I can remember right, I think this is Avidas. It is. Avidas and Amara are just completely transposed in my mind. Uh, we now have Regen 2 in Ooh. this area. And, and I really like these enhanced ritual altars because they've got the lenses bouncing the light back up and then they go up to these ritual anchors it's just a ride of colors and rays and beams and uh, it, that's that's cool stuff this top ritual anchor we could move to any place and what? as long as the two are paired together these little vials uh -huh, uh -huh. the bottom one is being used with this ritual right here the top one I just parked it but we could move it over to like the blood magic area <laughs> and that centers it there instead of here. That's the same thing I'm doing over here. I've got a ritual anchor, and it's centered over the stone. So it's it should be unbelievably pretty over here, Grok. It's like a fabulous light show. I it, love it. It is. I really like Astral Sorcery because it is so really, really pretty. It's just kind of all sorts of broken right now. Mm. Uh, you know the. the I, I go away, come back, and light going through the prisms seem to be broken. Oh. Uh, I have to rebind them again. That ritual's not working. The regen rit ritual is working just fine. This also does growth, so Ooh. we can grow our crops faster, too. That and sounds so, cool. You know, there's, there's a bunch of good stuff like that. Uh, I have this set up here with these two crystal chalices. Dust you. Uh, ah. And, uh, yeah, so yeah, you are. these gold crystal chalices or containment chalices the the one on the right has liquid starlight the one on the left uh, has nothing right now but I've been putting some lava in it uh -huh. and uh, we'll just put it in a bucket and they react together and the hopper snags what they produce right. here's how I've been getting more aqua sh marine shale that, and, uh, and lots of sand that is and cool We've been using the aquamarine for tons of stuff, and so I don't have to find it anywhere in the world, which means loading new chunks mm -hmm. or doing the botania ritual. I just do it with a teeny tiny amount of lava. It'll produce me 18, 13 to 18 aquamarine shales for one bucket of lava. That is very nifty. And uh, I'm using the hopper because it appears right above it, so it gets snagged. Uh, if I did it with the ender hopper, it gets pitched off in different areas. I'd need to put mm. a floor underneath it. Right. And that would stop it from actually happening. So oh, that's uh, good. otherwise I've I've gone down to the bottom and said, Oh, look at all that <laughs> the the sand way down at the bottom as it fell off. But uh, it, this works really, really well. Um and I've I, I have enjoyed getting it set up. Uh, as soon as I get that last constellation, mm -hmm. then I will share all the, the knowledge I have in a parchment with you and you'll just pfft, know it all yay well mm -hmm. i have to say it is absolutely gorgeous and of course reminder to my folks if you want to actually see how grok set all of this up he, he will have a video out at the same time as yes. me so go check out yes. his channel link in the description all of that good stuff but mm -hmm. and you you've been doing the blood magic stuff and i haven't so i need to have my guys go over there because i'm gonna be <laughs> watching to see exactly how you set that up because i've not done that self-sacrifice ritual ever it's good so fun. I'm, I'm curious uh plus the will stuff is all new to me uh i've done a tiny amount of stuff with the will but i've not made any of the crystals Ooh. and then uh one last thing right here mm-hmm um, wow. This Ooh. is another new little thing. This is the Celestial Gateway. It allows you to go from place to place. Ooh. Once you set it up with this uh, structure underneath, you can use an anvil to name the, the gateway itself. Uh -huh. So this one has a MNG base, if you look at it. Yeah. Uh, 
I dyed it with magenta. That's why we've got the nice little magenta border going oh, on here. Thank you, Croc. And then the swirly thing in the center means it's locked. I hit it with an aquamarine so that it's locked to me. Uh huh. But I added you. So if you stand in the center, look at the other star. Uh huh. Whoop. And we could teleport over to here, which if we get out of the dim area, this is a, a, a red desert that is south of base. And I was thinking of doing some power reactor, you know, radioactivity stuff far away from base. <laughs> so so that that's, that's what I'm looking at like here. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, you had some plans, didn't you? I, I do, yes, yes. We haven't quite um, set it up yet because I don't know where I'm doing it. But the plan uh, is to what? utilize the same technology. Ooh. Something like that? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and combine it with that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then you'll need all of these to do the structure, because you've memorized the structure, right? No, no. <laughs> um. I'll help you when, when we're, we're doing this. <laughs> um, once you know where it is, we'll, we'll set this up, and then we'll actually be able to... Uh, teleport between these Yay. Uh, and it's fast and it, this actually goes across dimensions too Ooh. so since this is in the same dimension the stars are kind of low uh-huh i'm looking to see if you zip away or if you just disappear yeah it looks like you just disappear i was hoping to see kind of like a <laughs> <laughs> no not quite because uh, we get that with the the swords mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. there's that kind of little whoop. That is a it's, really yeah. nifty effect as well, like how it goes the dim darkness and uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's fun. Mm -hmm. I like yep. it. It is. It is. It is a fun. Con uh, it, that I like that as a transport probably best of all of mm. the ones I've seen and cross dimensional. So if we weren't wiping our dimensions every you know month, I would set up a base someplace else and just zip back and forth between that way. Sounds good to me. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa. So, anyway, I, I think I've got enough done. Um, have you got enough done? I, I think I do, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> so, so um, are, are we saying cheerio? Is that what's uh, happening? Well, you can say cheerio. I'll say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the wave. There we go. <laughs> yep. There we go. Bye. <laughs> Cheerio. Well, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. It really does help out the channel a lot. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know an idea. I need to pick your brains for um, the column bricks. Do you think they should be dark or light? I'm a little bit unsure still. Um, but as always, do check out the description below it has the link to the ftog discord where you can actually join the server uh, come play with us and of course it has the link to grok's channel so don't forget to go check out his episode and as always i will see you in the next one bye for now